Today's a kind of challenging day. A lot of emotions. It's kind of tense because it's just nerves of preparing for tomorrow's event. Um, as I was scootering to the studio today, there was a biker who did not look at all. And I was in their blind spot, passing them because I was faster and they went right into me. Like the handlebar actually touched me and I like, was able to stay balanced, but I was going so fast. We were both going fast. I really thought I was going to tumble and we were going to crash. And in the heat of the moment, I caught myself turning around, looking at them and saying, what the fuck? And I was processing some emotions earlier. You know, as I am now, more and more in this as a business there's just going to be so many experiences and i have to get used to for example huge disappointments and one of them is that like we developed this product for three months and got it like expedited like shipped ahead of time and you would think it's so meant to be that it could be this delayed i guess it's just like that feeling of i gotta accept that and i can't be too attached to what i picture it in my head about this journal that we designed being the main thing to launch and to sell at this market. I'm still gonna just like do the best I can. And in five minutes, Claire's gonna get here and she's gonna help me and we're gonna load. I have something I'm going in my eye. We're gonna go into the city and set up the table and everything. So I really like made sure to try to process the negativity so that I can I don't want to take it out on anybody else. something different this week and I'm going to start off by filming my day off which you might think is that really a day off then I think that I've taken a sufficient break from YouTube and I'm craving it I'm craving the experience I'm craving the enjoyment the fun of it I want to take you on my adventures but I'm gonna be careful not to burn out again Bam, people hold me to it. You guys haven't eaten, huh? Oh yeah. Oh, it's because I, I was gonna feed him some wet food, but Bambi eats way too fat, so he always throws up, and I'm like unsure how I'm going to do this. I shall summon them. Bambi! Okay, Bam, you can have this. Bambi, you'll have this. These mistakes you made, you'll just make them again Can't seem to let you go The one thing that I still know is that you're keeping me down We might not have any money But we've got our love to pay the bills She's living in a world and it's on fire. Feeling like that. <coughs> it's okay. Yippee. I need to just put the top sheet on. Fine. 
do it with him on it again. Ugh. It's so hot up here, which is great for the winter. I didn't re realize that it's just a sheet and not a duvet cover, so I still need to use my old duvet covers, but I want it to look yellow, so I still cover the top of it with a sheet. And then I just wash the top of it more frequently because Bambi is in here all day long, so it kind of feels nice to get rid of the fur that like accumulates. This is what I do. So yeah, next on the agenda for today is getting ready for a holiday party. Last winter I went to the same company dinner and William has kindly invited me again. I'm gonna get dressed in this new dress I've actually never tried on before. We could wear it like this, but I really wanna wear my heat tech. It's like 30 something degrees today. I don't feel like being cold comfort above style. I think you can wear it like a big collar. Oh, 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 look. This is a nice classy boat neck shape, I think. Look, is this better? It's Mrs. Claus. I look expensive is what it is, is what it is. So much for expensive. Now I know. All my sewing stuff is at the studio, so I gotta fix this up another day. Let's just not bend our elbows today. Ready to go. Mm. gonna see him today again for dinner. Afterwards, I'm gonna go to Sleep No More, which is this theater production that I've been to a few years ago, and they're actually gonna go away permanently. So I'm gonna go with my partner and friends to see it again, and that's why I've worn this outfit today. My gunny sack dress just kind of like match the more oldie theme. I'm using one of my new favorite mugs. <laughs> I made it for the holiday table sale and a lot of things went wrong. The kiln misfired, so it missed the deadline. And also it came out looking crazy different than what I thought. It was supposed to be green. And I think because of the double firing, something chemically made it look like this. It's supposed to look green like the bottom, okay? <laughs> but I'm so pleased with how the handle came out. It's a little Bambi sculpture and I'm kind of like attached to him. Now that you can find your way back. And then 
As in every episode, we're going to have an email from a listener. This was written by a young woman who had researched what was wrong with her and believed that she had... Tomorrow I'm going to be back in studio because I have the second session of class. You can go onto our website and see our offerings for next year. I'm going to wrap up this vlog and see you again next week. This vlog was more like fun. I'm still working on work-life balance and I've been so much better at that in the last month and prioritizing truly being off work rather than never truly resting and never truly working. So. I'm very grateful for the progression and I hope that you take care of yourself and I'll see you. Bye!